Before we get started with today's podcast, we've got a message from our mates at Game Day Squad. Do you love women's fantasy footy? Women's Aussie Rules Fantasy has officially launched at Game Day Squad. It's free to play, create, coach, and compete for weekly prizes. Open your free player packs weekly. It's fun, it's free, it's easy. Register now at gamedaysquad.com.au. Do-do-do. DT's all right. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, Coach Destroy, and I'm here with Warney. Uh, coach of the Warn Dogs. And Calvin. Coach Calvin oh. I'm excited for this one. We are. It's relevant. It is this one. Now, we this talked a couple of episodes ago. Yes. Power yes. rankings of songs. It's this by is far. One. Has, Has to be. be. Yes. Has to be. In the books, be. I'll write it down. Time. We are definitely going to do a draft of songs. Yeah. yeah in a cool. podcast after this series. Yeah. The social media team. Oh, they're good. GWS2, they they're Unbelievable. Elite, and the, the stuff they do with this song. It's oh, piss funny. It gets me so every good. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Giants obviously finished seventh, and they live. They to live all right. Fight yeah. another week at the time of recording here because it is after the uh, elimination mm. final yep. that they played against the Saints. Yep. So bit of a um, gimme game, wasn't it? Really? Yeah. Well, Saints. Yes, how did they end up there? I don't know. Mm. I don't think they dropped below six. I oh, know. Isn't year. that extraordinary? Amazing stuff. It's all how did about that happen. It's all because the draw. Ah, uh, yes, it's of the course. draw. It's we ridiculous. Got about the draw. The draw. Who did they? Have it oh, they with. probably played Eagles three times, Roos four there times. There you go. That's exactly what happened. That's the draw, dog. That's the draw. That's the draw, the draw dog. Not for finishing on the same score now, with no, someone else. That one. Okay. Very relevant. They probably did that too, though. Because they've got some good players every single time that we always talk about. They do. Cogs. There's chock-a-block full of midfielders. Yep. And the thing is, this is why we tip them every week. Yep. They're, super, <laughs> they're stars all through. They are, they are. At the start of the season, a lot of um, experts, not proper ones like us just said there's no talent left oh. on that team <laughs> idiot not going to make the eight Kingsley didn't think that no he, he did not think that up and about. I'll tell you what he did one of the best things he did and I reckon if one of you two got the job you would have done the same thing as well he did this really weird thing that they haven't done at the Giants for a while he put them in their best positions oh, oh yeah yes. and all of a sudden That's amazing what have we got here a team of what guns. A novel they're idea. still in the finals. Yep. yep. And they're just playing better again because they're playing freely in their better positions, which made them totally fantasy relevant this year. Big time. They were. And I guess we can start with probably the most relevant. They had a couple, but I reckon the man yeah. has to be talking about T Green. Yeah. Not oh, the yes. Toby variety. This is the Tom variety. It is. Um, because he was a must have, I think, yep. at the start. And we did correct ourselves. Pretty quickly. Yeah. So we had um, Josh Kelly, who I'm sure we'll talk about later. Yes, but, we will. Um, he was concussed that first week. And so it was a concu- I think it was a concussion the first it was, week. Yeah. It was. And yeah. so we got, oh, crap, we've got to fix this and go straight to green, which was the right move to it do. It was. So he was a, a big name in the preseason and a very popular pick. I can't remember why we went away from it. Well, we worried about his outside game and his <sighs> marks. That's what it was. When you're splitting hairs at the I'm end, you try Nelly to find Yo something. In some way. Yeah, it would be his fault. Um, but I, I reckon think that's I went where down we went. To a, I went down to a, more of a mid price than having him. That yes. was my issue. Yeah, to then, yeah, because it became a bit of a cash scramble, mm. didn't it? Now, for those who held that week one, 128, yep, huge. Um, it was massive. And then. Obviously, injury Pumped forced out. our hand. Yeah. But it was a disappointing debut. Oh, yeah, 90 points. But then from there, there were a lot of tons in a row, including Big a 136 time. and a 170. 170. So there's a ceiling there for uh, Thomas Greenus. He did even uh, finish the year with a 141 in his uh, last run of games as well. So um, can play. Oh, big I time. think that. Wax so ball. he's basically yeah. priced at, well, 110.6 was his average. Mm. Yep. There is every chance that can be improved on. So yes, there in his is. last four. So he returned from a three week break when yep. I think it was a hammy. Um, yeah, it was a hammy okay, late yeah, in the season. Yeah. I think it was three weeks. Returned in round twenty one. He averaged one hundred and twenty two in that last yeah. four, and actually he went bang in the first one. One forty one yep. after yep. that three week break. Yep. This guy is an absolute scoring beast. Racks the ball. He does. So I think you're onto something there, dog. I think he's slightly underpriced. We can call it that. I think so. That'll be some content. It's no, but there is. He's 115 plus, isn't Agreed. he? Agreed. He's a first round draft pick now. Yeah, he is. Because of the way he plays yep. the game. And with that ceiling and that average even over the last four weeks, yep. the dude can wear a C. 
Oh, Sorry, yeah. I don't want to step on your toes, oh, but geez. I reckon he's come into your calculations. Calculations. Or will next year. Yes, he has been. Yeah. Definitely. Mm. Um, Cog's had a good year, Cow. You wouldn't have wanted to trade him out. Um, he scored one average 102, sorry, but he played every game. So that was even the other Hang little... On. What? You didn't even start with Cogs. No, I didn't. So you can't didn't sit you? there and throw stones at poor old I Cow over there. No, but I think it wasn't a disastrous move not to start with him when I got him. So oh, hang on, you got his little splits? I'll have a look for you, mate. Let's have a look at his splits. And we'll, got see, the buys. and we'll see who owned him better, right? So when did you get him? We almost, the same week. Yeah. I think it was, oh, it could have even been out by a week. So he, he was 103 for you. Yeah. And for me, oh, 101. Ah, oh, got him! <laughs> yes! So, dog play. So you traded out a bloke because... that was averaging 101. Yeah, because that's how I do. Yeah. Uh, buy expert. You were the buy expert. Yep. So I had him... All year for that 102 then. Yeah. Slightly behind but dog. That's just what he does. <laughs> yeah. Every yeah, single yeah. week, it doesn't matter what he's no. on at halftime, Roy. No. So the risk wasn't yeah. there because he had the forward status. Yes. And the, the midfield role ended up being real. Oh, really, So really, really I had real. him flagged. So I went a bit, uh, as I tend to do in the preseason, I was 105 plus yeah, with okay. Cogs yep. in that midfield role. Yep. Now, 102 is not disappointing. That turned out to be a good season-long pick. Yes, I think. Exactly. Because he had a couple of disappointing scores that really dropped that average. Yes. Like there's a 63, yeah. a 79. Yeah. Like, yeah, those ones hurt. That's very uncog like Yeah, it certainly is. Um, someone like Whitfield, I thought, was he was just back doing what he does, yeah. sweeping across half back, and he's, he's just... That guy that we expect now. Is that 95 guy So that 95 return is probably what we yep. would have all predicted. Yep. Realistically. And moving forward, I think it remains the same. And yep. played 21 games off yep. the top of my head. So he's always ne- he's never going to play a full season. Well, that's, that's his that's downfall. That's true as well. That's his problem. Mm. Uh, we've got a lot of these players <clears> to talk about, and they probably will come in a later segment. Yes. But before we get there, I think we need to... I'm you, I'm telling you we... Who are you putting on this Never Again list? I think this one's real. And I it am... Is real. And I followed through with it this year yeah. with opportunities to yeah. get him back because I already did it once. Yes. Fool me once. Fool me once. Shame. The oh. guy's a gun. That's why he tricks you. He does. Josh Kelly is the one we're talking about. 100% we are. So but we cop that. He's on it for me. Round one injury, Roy, that concussion. 91, so it looked like a good pick because he was on track for a bigger score. He or was. Whatever. Yeah, well, he was that killing was later it. in the game. But anyway, it was, it was good. We thought, yep, tick. It was a nice move. Relatively unique as well. It was. Because it was one of those ones where you go, yep, that's our premium that we've gone for. Yeah. I thought, yeah, we've nailed one here. He was a bit unique because, funnily enough, he is a guy that is on a oh, number of never again list gone, for no way, I'm other that. people. But the thing with us was he he was one that we penciled in as being a huge beneficiary of the new coach. Yep. Yeah. Because Josh Kelly as an inside mid is a killer. Yep. And he's a scorer. Yeah. And that's what we chased. And obviously we found out pretty quickly or were reminded really quickly. Not that, I mean, concussions just unlucky, but it was like, oh, we're back on this again. Yep. Now, I held, you traded. Is that right? Yeah, because I went to Tom Green. Right. I must have gone by, because I always cop round one. No, I copped X area Island. That's mid- right. So, yeah, so <laughs> that's, that's where I ended up with Tom Green. You copped a bad choice. I'll turn it up. So, Can't help. <laughs> what was it? Sindes most. I don't know. Anyway... He, he came back, so I held, and I got instant reward for that with a 126. Yeah. And then 109 over his next seven. Yep. Which was good. That's good. That's why some people got back on at that stage. Yeah, well, I got yes. back on. Yeah, only for him to get another injury. Yep. It's just extraordinary. You just can't do it. He, I thought the season low for him, though. So the injuries were bad, but that week he got fingered. <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> copped a digit. 30. 30. From Finn McGuinness. I think six touches, was it? It was just, Three touches. And that's the thing. Six touches, I he, think it was. He can be tagged. He can easily be shut Definitely. down. I'm going to have to check that. So he's easily... That line was extraordinary. Fingered, so, got him to... Uh, six touches. Six, six, touches, six touches, touches. Three kicks, three handballs. Oh, boy. Yeah. Four tackles, no marks. He had more tackles than kick or handballs. Oh, so that was just... That was amazing. So, I mean, I remember looking at the socials that week... For people that had him, I think there were – oh, there was too. People had rolled into him. Yeah. Mm. Skipper. Season oh. over. Oh, please. That rings a bell, actually. I rolled into him once. I took on a Tuke Miller 
103 or 106 or something, got greedy. Is that one of those mate, Josh Kelly, he'll do yeah, it. Yeah, he'll just flip your little 70 that time. Yeah. So what 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 can he average in a normal year? Because uh, we used to say he was a 110. He's been to the top. He's been to the top. He's been a 110 guy, hasn't he? So he was a 107 before his buy. Yeah. And then after that, it was like an 88. Yeah. You just couldn't do it. No, you definitely do not do it. Um, but yeah, he can get back up, back up over a hundred. He can, but yeah. I'm not going anywhere no, near it. Definitely not. Cannot go anywhere near no. it. Um, he's probably the only real never again list guy. Um, unless you wanted to put Prusy on there. Oh, hang on, oh, Prusy value. How long did it take for us to mention Prusy? I'd forgotten. I'm surprised about you didn't put him as your uh, gun at the hey, start, even though he didn't play a game. Thirty percent discount. Oh, right. yeah, now you're talking. I know. <laughs> uh, but it'll be off his 85 from the year before. Oh, uh, yeah. So, but hey, Bang. he could be. <laughs> you know you made me break. <laughs> he certainly Although, could be. the thing is, though, Again. Briggs is ahead of him. That's, Surely. That's oh, the well problem. And, well and truly ahead. Because he problem. broke out. 14 he games did. from Briggs, he added 94 That's average. a good pitch. That would be one of your better picks of the yes, year, Yes, well, it, right? there's not many dogs. So, yes, that, I could probably hang my hat on that one. He... Was amazing. So I've always been a Briggsy fan when he is the ruck. And he yep. was basically, most of his juniors yeah. was a ruck. And he used to ruck up in there. And this is what I liked about him. So they swung him into defence, like a key defender role. You think about most ruckmen, do not, you wouldn't even consider it. No. Unless, it's unless you wanted 20 yep. goals kicked on you. Yep. Um, because. Most of them can't just can't do that. Can't even tie so their shoelaces. No. So if you're versatile enough as a ruckman to be able to play down back, yeah. surely when you get unleashed back in the ruck, yeah. you're going to be good. And he certainly was. And he's an animal. You love watching him play because he goes that hard. Not a gifted runner. Not running on top of the ground. <laughs> probably sinking a good half foot. All right. Here's the thing. What number ruck does he rank? Overall, yeah. Man. So, have you done it? No, no, no. Oh. What, what do you think? No, like next year when you're doing your ruck rankings, is he number three? Oh, but do you have too much risk because of Bruce? I mean, well, no, is a risk. This is his job. This is he's the man. It's Bruce's Bruce. job as well. You know what? Allegedly, is, yeah. It's well, probably it's it's not a safe place to be. It's a number one ruck. In the preseason no. at the Giants when no. you're going up against Brucey. <laughs> you no, know. well, that's it. So there yeah. could that's be probably your biggest issue. Oh, it. Even if you are the number one ruck, you could so be broken. We still have Sean, Sean Darcy's ahead of him at number three then. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. Briggsy at four. No, you peanut. Think, who are you missing here? You're an idiot. He's missing. Max gone. He's oh, ahead. Yeah. Forgot Max. Forgot Brody Grundy had a new club's ahead. <laughs> yeah, right. They're all ahead. Fix up your ruck ratings. I think he's even... He might be... Safer than the hole. Oh, yeah. Safer than Darso. A lot of things in draft, safer than the hole. In draft, would you go... Who would you go first? I'm just not touch. No, I'm going Darso. Over Briggs? Yes, 100%. Really? Yep. For his 15 or so that he'll roll out? Mm, I don't know, That's dog. all I'm worried about. Just um, taking a ruck with my first pick. Other people that broke out this year. My yeah. boy, Finn Cow. Finn. Finn yeah. Cow. Uh, 57 up to a 76. My breakout, uh, Lockie Ash. Ash. Yeah. yeah, he was good in the uh, elimination final, like a one thirteen yeah. or something like that. Yeah, he got up to eighty-four really? average. No, I'm no, no. You're not definitely not picking him, but hey, content. Lockie Ash. He's a nice one to have. Eighty-four. Draft. Yeah. That's probably not a bad return. No, he's, he's been good. good. No, he was he's good. Been good. What um, about, yeah, you go. What about the Berg? So he was in people's team. Actually, he was in your team, yeah, wasn't he? He came into my team. We always watch him because we watch his price and average just go down and down and down yep. in the forward line. Yep. And then last two seasons ago, we saw what he could do down back. That was without Whitfield and that down there, though, yep. probably. Yep. Yeah. But where he racked up and became a ton a week. Yeah. So there was definitely justification in chasing that this year, but didn't eventuate, did it? Is it because no. of Whitfield and Ash back there? It must be. It's just a big... There's, Ball has to go in some hands. It does. And there's a lot of hands that they could go there in. There is. I think the part Because he's an elite kick. Himmelberg so has to do as well. He probably has to do more of a job at times. Yeah. Regardless. A bit more and size and he's a bit like if we go back to old mate Millsy with a Swiss Army knife. Like, mm. He does get thrown around a little bit in some he different, does. different roles. Even if it is a defensive role, it might yeah. be a different defensive yeah. role than the. the a rack ease. up one or yeah. a lockdown one. Now, yeah. a name we need to talk about is Isaac Cumming. Oh wow, yeah, that was a bad call. coming off coming off years of ninety one and eighty six. Yeah, 
Okay, he was always going to be that guy who's the 90 guy. Yeah. With some people thinking he could be yeah. 95 to 100 well, this that's, year. Well, mm. a lot of people ranked him that high yes. at the draft and even as an option mm. for us in Classic this year. 68. Yeah. 68 is yeah. what he had. Like, he I had mean, one ton this year. The and flags were, though, yeah. how loaded they are across yeah. half yep. back with those ball users. But I didn't think it could be that bad. So even in the elimination final, we got subbed out on 41. Yep. But wow. like they just don't value him. No. No. You see, like, there's some scope for improvement, I guess. Yeah, definitely there Has is. to be. But if there was an injury yeah. to a halfbacker, you would consider it. But I don't think you can even yeah, cast your mind there. He was sub two, wasn't he? Yep. In the, in in games. the final. Yeah. Yep. In the final. Oh, no, and but I mean, like, during, yeah, during yeah. the season. Yeah, so, I mean, Probably that brings his that. price down a little bit, but... But, but that's but that's even pecking order though. Oh, like, pecking well, order. That's talking. exactly right. Well, so he was pretty high time on ground most games. Oh, maybe he wasn't vested. No, no, I don't think he was vested. Why do I feel like he was? Because, because if he scores, scores uh, 50, I think one. 50, no, he was 50. a late change. He was a late in, so he must have been dropped there. So he came in for the after round twenty, then played against Sydney. Oh my god! He has runs of fifties. Yeah, he hit sixty or more once in his last six weeks. Unbelievable. Yeah, I reckon that's a bit of a. Oh, no, it's a bit of a never again. Yeah. It is. It almost is. Yeah. Or oh, it's value. It's value. Okay, well, nah, there's been a lot of right. He's out there. of favour and he just if doesn't he get went it. to a new club. If he gets a look in somewhere else, Big a couple time. of injuries or whatever, but at the moment it's a hell no. Hell no, all right. Poor old Isaac. Yeah. Mm. Fall from... He's nearly at Grace. He nearly got there. Um, so you talked before about Prucey. He didn't oh. play any games, so he cops a 30% discount, but it is Let's on go. that average um, from last year. Prucey, so. he's just spent his career yeah. following elite Ruckman around. He just loves it. Why does he do it? Oh, I don't know. Um, he's sick. <laughs> <laughs> Who else? I'll go Jacob Ware. He played four games for 29, so could be dis- – well, he will be discounted, yeah. but like that – he might be some value down the bottom if he's getting a gig. But again, you know, what is he, a wing, half-backer? Yeah. yeah. Is there any spot? Like Josh Fay played seven in the end, obviously vested a lot in that. So yes. that average of 34, which he'll get a small discount of, a 9% off that. So only gets him down to about a 30 or whatever. Yeah. Mm. But still is cheap for what we think he can do, especially those VFL scores that he had. Like they yeah. were massive. But uh, Cadman will be cheap. He averaged 25 he across 12. Fun? So he's going to be cheaper <laughs> yeah, because yeah. he was the number one pick in his second year after playing. How many games did he end up playing? He got 12 games. 12 games. Yeah. So he played 12 <clears throat> games and you're going to be cheaper. He got subbed out a lot. He did. And he wasn't happy about being subbed out. No. but So another preseason in him. He could be a, well, a, a number cash one, cow. A number one pick. At that Has price. Yeah. yeah. Chuck him. Giants could yeah. offer you a lot of value too if you are playing game day squad. So you can do that at gamedaysquad.com.au. So open up your packs there and you might find some little gems for the future. Just yeah. that midfielder that could end up being mm. popping. Yeah. That's what you want. Mm, definitely. Anyway, that's the Giants. See you later. Attention footy fans. Have you ever played fantasy football? Fantasy footy is taking the world by storm and here's your chance to play for free. Create, coach, compete in fantasy footy for free with Game Day Squad. Open free new player packs each week. Sign up to coach, build your team, trade players, bench injured or unfit players, upgrade rookies. It's your fantasy team. Play your best team. Become the ultimate fantasy footy coach. It's fun. It's free. It's easy. Register now for free at gamedaysquad.com.au.